It's the coolest neighborhood in the world. Way before he put on an Eagles uniform. First was a two-bedroom house, uh, 324 Andrews Avenue, and the back had a little backyard, and it just dropped off in a cliff, and there was a creek there, and there was a muck and a penis creek that I spent half my life on, either pole vaulting across or swinging across or chasing rats or whatever. Decades before his life was made into a Disney movie, the legendary story of Vince Papali started here, on the streets of Glen Olden, Delaware County. Papali spent most of his childhood here on Andrews Avenue, and like most kids, getting into a little trouble. That's where I grew up. Sometimes I'd come in at night and, I'd, and my dad would lock the door on me, so I, what I'd do is I'd, I'd climb up and, and I'd come on. That awning? <laughs> I'd come on, I'd walk on this awning. But as a kid, one thing stood out about Papali. He was fast. I was uh, the fastest kid in the, in, the, in the neighborhood. Real fast. And he's not afraid to tell you either. Because I was the fastest kid in Glen Olden. And I used to, you know, I was like Seabiscuit back then. I was a little kid, but I was the fastest one. So it wasn't football, it was track. Crowned all Delco and district champion in the pole vault, helped Papali land a full track scholarship to St. Joe's College. I said, put it up to the school race. So, you know, that's the school record, Vince. I said, I got it, coach. And I cleared it, like, by that much. And he said, I think you're going to be a pole vaulter. It wasn't until years later, when he was coaching at Interborough High School, the guy who never played in college got his first shot at professional football with the startup of Philadelphia Bell of the World Football League. I heard about the tryout, and Richie Iannarella, another Delco guy, grew up in Yadin. Uh, was a general manager for the uh, Philadelphia Bell of the World Football League, and his best friend, he was, friend was Jimmy Murray, a Delco guy. And he says, hey, I got this guy Vince Papella, you know, I heard you having his tryout. He says, yeah, put him on the list. After playing for two seasons, the league folded, and Papale was again out of work. And I'm substitute teaching in Interborough, working as a doorman at Fran O'Brien's, anything to make money. And then Dick Vermeil trots into town, has his free agent tryout, and that's where the movie picks up. A walk-on free agent, Papali played two seasons with the Eagles, and at 30 years old, he became the oldest rookie in the NFL never to play college football. You ain't going nowhere! But Papali's legendary status wasn't cemented until the 2006 movie Invincible, the hit film based on Papali's life portrayed by Mark Wahlberg. But there was one part of his life left on the cutting room floor. First of all, though, I have to apologize to all my Delaware County friends there that we really did want Interbro to be mentioned in the movie, and I wanted to wear Interbro stuff, but uh, because of legal, I couldn't. And, and secondly, we really wanted Glen Olden and Delaware County to be mentioned in the movie, but, and we hoped that we were going to actually, I wanted some of the shooting of the rough touch to be down there, Father and Old Field, right behind uh, Tom and Jerry's now, but it was a T-bar back then on McDade Boulevard, Melmont Park. Uh, but, you know, because of the Philadelphia tax credit, we had to stay within the confines of there. And we really wanted Delco to be mentioned, but uh, they wanted an urban setting. And, it, and they snapped that picture, and then Coach Vermeule gave it to me as, an award, as a leadership captain award. Nowadays, Papali's Cherry Hill home is like a museum of Eagles memorabilia. It's a picture that's, and that's called The Last Laugh. That's Denny Franks. That's my kid's godfather. He comes from a family of athletes. His mother, a professional baseball player in the 1930s, his wife Janet, loosely depicted in the movie, wasn't a bartender. She was actually a world-class gymnast for the United States. Uh, you know, love. and then we just, we fell in love. He said, you're going to marry me. I go, yeah, right. You want to marry me, sure. And he said, I said, if you really mean that, you plan the wedding. We said, I want you to marry me. I want you to marry me. And I said, oh, okay. So he planned the oh, wedding. okay. He says the trophies and accolades, even the movie, were great. But he says it's just part of his life. I mean, look at look at what I have. I mean, you know, I, life couldn't be any better than what we have right now. You know, two beautiful children, great marriage, a lot of tremendous friends, and you know, it has nothing to do with the NFL. I don't think that was just uh, one thing that was, you know, butterflied into the next. It just is. Uh, it's been pretty cool. Papali is now a motivational speaker and author. And if you give it your best shot, uh, that's all you really need to do. And if it doesn't happen, it, it's okay. You know, failure is okay. And it's not failure when you give it everything you have. He credits his determination, his inspiration, and the reason for his success all started right here on the streets of Delaware County. The dream that for most people stays in the state of mind, that you have to act on it. You have to get off the sidelines. You have to get into the game and make it happen. Glenn Olden, Matt Toll, Delco Pride TV.